Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So we are continuing with this uh, stage modeling over here. So let's continue it. So now what we are going to create is we are going to create this uh, lights over here. For creation of this lights, what we are going to do is we are going to take a cylinder over here. We are going to just push that up over here. So we can go into this, reduce this and we'll go into this and give a taper modifier. Let's give a bit of a taper modifier. So convert to editable poly, press 4 and we have a bevel option over here. So we'll be uh, utilizing a bevel over here and click OK. And let's just rotate it. Push this up. Drag it over here. So what I'm doing over here is like, I'm just going to place it in this way. place it in this way so if you feel that we can just give it a support over here <coughs> so we can just rotate this over here just duplicate this so so make copies over here, make more three copies, save your file, so let's go over here, let's take a box over here. convert to editable poly let's go into this let's take a swift loop over here and here go into this polygons extrude it up go into this give some more connects click ok so let's go into the side view go into the vertices push that up so go into this just push it a bit inside and let's take a cylinder over here for this light so we can just rotate it up over here so convert to editable poly and let's give a taper and let's give a bit of curve over here to it scale it just push it a bit inside convert to editable poly select this polygons and let's give a bit of uh, bevel over here and let's give one more time a bevel over here click ok that's it so we can just uh, resize this stuff or we can just push this up 
select this and this extrude a bit down right click and isolate so what we'll be doing over here is like we can just take this and make a copy of it over here so keep on making uh, four copies over here for this so we can create some speakers also over here for that so we'll be taking a box over here so let's go on to the top view over here you can just take so right click convert to editable poly and let's use a select this polygons and this polygons insert it bevel it just push this inside click ok that's it and uh, we can add some loops over here so I know just scale this can just scale it you can just duplicate this make it smaller push it in front select this all and just give a cut to it so let's go over here and let's select this stuff and let's duplicate it over here So go into the side view over here and let's go into this spline, take a rectangle and make a rectangle. Convert to editable spline, go into the vertices. just give a fillet and enable in viewport radial just duplicate it so let's go into this take again a rectangle and 
go into this convert to editable spline go into the vertices give a bit of fillet So we'll just push it down, place on top of it, select this, this, we can just push this up and make a duplicate of it. So take one more copy of it so we'll be shifting this more up and behind push this up push it here go into the box increase this more increase it Just save your file. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.